<clears throat> welcome now today let me share the screen first uh, uh, in today's class let's discuss the basic operation in digital discrete time signal processing so today's topic is basic operations in discrete time signal processing and this is a, just a simple overview so this is a simple overview of these of basic operations now these discrete time signal processing operations can be categorized okay, into two types now these based, these operations in discrete time signal processing can be categorized into two types depending upon whether they are performed on dependent variable or independent variable independent variable are variables that are representing the signal that are representing the signal so we can classify these basic operations in this this discrete time signal person in the two categories now and this classification is based on whether the operations are performed on the dependent variable are the independent variables that represent our signal for example if we say if the operations are performed on dependent variable now the operations that fall into this category are operations like addition subtraction you know, multiplication and differentiation and integration similarly if the operations are performed on the independent variable now the independent variable in our signals in our discrete time signals we represented that by small n that is n this represents our time variable in our signal discrete time the signal if the operations are performed on this then these operations include um, operations like time shifting time scaling Holding. Uh, this is also sometimes referred as deflection of the signal. These are the various operations that we can perform on a, on a discrete time signal. So let's start with the operations that are in general performed on dependent variable of a signal. So let's start with this addition operation so let's see how we perform the addition operation of two discrete time signals addition of two discrete time signals let's suppose x1 of n is our one signal and suppose this signal is let me say one, two, minus one and two. For simplicity, let's take this simple example. And suppose we have another signal that's x of two. And let me take this signal as one, minus one, three, two, and one. And let's suppose the n equal to zero point is at minus one. So what is the sum of x1 n plus x2 n 
and this is called the addition of the signal. Suppose the resultant signal is named as y of n. So what's y of n? Now we can perform this operation based on this sequence that's given to us, or we can directly use uh, the graphical approach. Let's plot the signal and let's see how this signal is look like. So this is our x of one n. So this is x of one n. This is our x of two n. All right. So let's write first of all these signals. X of one n is at zero. The value of this signal is two. At n equal to one, the value of the signal is. Let me write this x two on this side. Minus one. Similarly, value of the signal at n equal to two is two, and the value at three is zero, and so on. Similarly, the value of the signal at n equal to minus one is one. And the rest of the sample is at zero. Now, the values of x two n. So, at n equal to Zero, the value of the signal is minus one. The value of the signal at n equal to one is three. The value of the signal at n equal to two is two, and the value of the signal at n equal to three is two, and the rest of the samples are zero. So, uh, and the value of the signal at n equal to minus one is one, and so on. Right. So, how do we obtain the sum or the addition of these two signals. So how do we obtain the sum of these two signals? Now simply what you can do, add the corresponding values at a given time, means add the values to obtain the values of y of n, to write the values of y of n. Simply add the respective values of x1n and x2n at the corresponding time instant, means to get the value of y of zero, put either in this equation n equal to zero, and this will give us y of zero will be equal to x one of zero plus x two of zero. So what is this equation saying? Add the value of x one with the value of x two at n equal to zero. So to get the y y of zero point means to get the value of y at n equal to zero, simply add the values. So the value of x1 at n equal to zero is two, and the value of x, x of two at n equal to zero is minus one. So two plus minus one is one. So the value of this signal at n equal to zero is one. You can simply write it like this. Similarly, the value of, so to get the value of y of n, at n equal to one, so that is simply put n equal to one. This gives us, which is same as x one one plus x two one. So this simply tells us add the values of x one and x two at n equal to one time in a step. So the value of the signal at n equal to one is minus one, and the value of x two at n equal to one is three. So three minus one is two. So the value of this y of n at n equal to two, n equal to one is two. Simply and so on, add the values at n equal to two with the value of x two at n equal to two. This is four because two plus two is four. Similarly, add the values of x one n and x two n at n equal to three that uh, x1 n is 0, x2 n is 1, so this will be simply 1, and the rest of the sample is 0, so you can avoid that computation. And similarly, the, to get the values of y of n, when n is equal to minus 1, simply put n equal to minus 1 in this expression, so this will give you x1 of minus one, x2 of minus one. So this is simply saying add the values of x1 and x2 at n equal to one. Now the value of 
x1 and at n equal to minus 1 is 1. Similarly, the value of x2 of n at n equal to 1 is 1. So this will be simply 1. So the, this is y of n at, sorry, this is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is 2. And the value of x1 of n at n equal to minus 2 is 0. Similarly, the value of x2 at n equal to minus 2 is 0. So th these values will be again 0. So we can apply this compression and write the sequence like this. So you can now plot this sequence. So the values of y of n, which is simply the addition of you know, x1 n and x2 n is simply at n equal to zero, the value of the signal is one. Similarly, that at n equal to one, the value of signal is two. And so at n equal to one, the value of the signal is two. Similarly, at n equal to two, the value of the signal is four. Four. So similarly, the value of the signal at n equal to three is one. One. And the value of the signal at n equal to 4 is 0. Value of the signal at n equal to 5 is 0. Similarly, for negative values of n, the value of the signal is n equal at n equal to minus 1 is 2. And the rest of the sample is also 0. Value at n equal to minus 2 is 0. Value at n, n equal to minus 3 is 0. So this is our uh, some of the two sequences, some of two discrete time sequences. Now, why, what are the applications of this addition operation in signal processing? Why do we use it? Now, this is a very prominent operation in discrete time signal processing. This is very, very important operation in discrete time signal processing. The, you, and the uses, uh, applications of this, this addition operation are in filter design. For example, to design a filter, what you do to design a low pass filter, you can simply add, if you say y of n is xn plus x2n, this is similar, simply a filter. And depending upon what is the, what are the values of x1 and then x2n, you can say this is simply a filter. And if you divide by two, this will be an averaging of a two the, which is an average of x1 and x2 and this is simply a low pass filter. You, we shall see this in, uh, in frequency domain analysis once we do the frequency domain analysis of discrete time signal. Similarly, another uh, use of this addition operation in is in calculation of uh, this convolution operation that's very, very signal processing operation, very important. So another use of this addition operation is in convolution. Okay, so this is about addition operation of signals. So you can add two signals like this. So the simple, simply what you do, you add the value of the two signals for which you are performing this addition operation. Come simply add the corresponding time instant values of the two signals, you will get the addition operation. Okay, thank you.